because for some people, God is too far fetched. Yes, the teaching of the saints and all that, they think they cannot do it. They cannot follow because they are just ordinary persons, you know, they are just an ignorant beings and they look down upon themselves because they don't see the Buddha nature in themselves. There is no master who can open their wisdom eye, let them see that there are great beings within themselves, within this physical body. Even though the Bible says that you are the temple of God and the Holy Spirit dwells within you, or God is within you, Buddha nature you have. But saying is saying. Believing is another thing. People have been poisoned for too long. They have no more self-confidence. They have no more trust in anything that they don't understand or don't see. Only the Master can make them see. And only if they are even up to it yet, because the Masters, mostly they are compassionate. They just give everyone a chance. But not all of them, even initiated people, would understand that much. But if they continue practicing and being faithful, then, of course, sooner or later, they will also catch up with those who can see immediately or who have a strong faith, like Jesus said, blessed are those who don't see but believe, because for them it's the kingdom of God. Yes. Okay, now we are in this difficult world, very hard world, and we influence each other as a big dying tub. So if one person says, oh, the local God is very, very, very uh, responsive. If you pray to him, you bring uh, some gift to him, then tomorrow, whatever you ask will come true. It might come true, it might not. Uh, the, the small God maybe can help you a little bit. But it could be also your karma that changed for the lucky tide now. You see, just like the tide in the ocean, it ebbs and flows. In this world, you have to know, my love, it's so difficult for ordinary people out there to earn a living, to marry and offer her daughter, to cure his grandparents' sickness, to minimize the suffering of their relatives and friends due to disease or trouble. So they don't see God. They cannot see God. So they have to grab on anything they can see, any statues of the past saints, any written past teachings of the saints. They worship it, they pray to it. And sometimes it works if they are very sincere. Then, of course, the angels, the saints, the sages are never far away. They have what they can according to their karma. If their karma is about this much good, they add on more to make their wish come true. Then they begin to believe more. Next time they ask the same book <laughs> of the teachings of the saint, or next time they come back to the same local deity to bring more apple, whatever they bring. Or they worship some ghosts or some demons that they don't see around them just to help, to bless them, or to minimize their trouble, or at least don't cause them more trouble. And it works, then they do again and again and again. And then they spread it out to the neighbors, to their children, to their family, their friends who do the same. Do, do you understand now? Yes. yes. Because this life is too hard to earn a living, to stay sane, to, to be above poverty, or even just to have enough food. Two, three meals a day. Sometimes people have only one meal every day, not because they are monks or nuns, just because they don't have the fortune to afford two meals or three meals. You know that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Some don't even know if tomorrow they even have one meal. This world is so hard, and once you lost something, you lost everything else. And in many countries, you know that, a lot of homeless people, because they just lost their job, or they've just been so ill that they spend all their savings, and they cannot get up to catch up again to the former lifestyle or the former standard of life that they had. And they became homeless. They're begging on the street. Everybody's afraid of that situation. 
They don't want that to happen to them. So they pray here, pray there, they go worship this and worship that, just in case it works, because they don't know what else to do. Do you understand now? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so we cannot even look down upon them also. We also cannot feel disrespectful for this kind of activity and worship. For most people, that's the only comfort they have. At least it comforts them. It gives them hope. Yes, yes. It gives them hope that maybe the deity will help, will, will bless, and will make trouble less or make the trouble disappear. Give them hope. Because in this life, hope is the best human can have in daily life, dealing with all kinds of trouble, difficulties. Even if you have a job, it doesn't mean heaven, because you have the boss, the big boss on top, pushing for production. The lower boss between, you know, kicking you to be faster, to work harder. Even if you are sick that day, even you are in trouble with your wife or in trouble with your children, you still need to work. And if you are in front of the public, like the news, the readers, the journalists, the reporters, you have to smile no matter what. If you are an actress, an actor, you have to make people happy in your role. You cannot remember your trouble. Even if you remember, you cannot act on it. This life is so hard, so hard. We are lucky, we don't know that life. But imagine if it's you, you know, you work in a very hard, competitive, sometimes toxic atmosphere just to earn a living and still not sure if you can continue to do your job. Sometimes you just lose your job like that for no reason or very little reason because you're powerless. And you need that job for yourself, for your family, to have a dignified life. It's very, very hard. So people just worship anything, pray to anything. It's like that. <laughs>